what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to talk about icloud and how you're going to be using your iphone storage so if you're an iphone user watch this video till the end because in this video i'm going to show you how you can manage your icloud storage and also you can manage your icloud account so without further any ado let's get started with the video but before that if you can keep enjoying this content then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel with that being said let's get right into the video So here is my iPhone XR and I'm going to show you how you can use and manage your iCloud account. So in order to manage the iCloud account, you have to go to the settings and the first option you see where your account and everything is set up, you have to click there and you can see a couple of options there, iCloud, iTunes, App Store, Find My Phone, Setup, Family Sharing and all. So you got to click on this iCloud. So as you can see, this is a 64 gigabyte variant of iPhone XR and I'm having 1.9 9 GB of 5 gigabytes used. So uh, prior to I have cleared all the temp files and everything. So I had like always this notification coming on that your iPhone backup is failed, your phone was not been able to backed up, your photos and videos are not backed up. All this annoying notification and pop up used to come to my phone and I used to really get irritated. So I decided to, to come to this iCloud. So once you come to this iCloud, you can see what are the things that are already in sync with your iCloud account so as you can see especially with photos I have turned it off because it really consumes a huge amount of storage and once this is synced on all your photos and videos would be backed up to your iCloud account so rather than backing up this all these photos and videos to your iCloud account I would suggest you use an application called like Google photos and things like that so in that way with every Gmail ID you get a free storage of 15 gigabyte where you can upload your photos and videos and those would be backed up so instead of using iCloud for photos for backing up your photos and videos you can use Google photos so in that way you can save up a lot of storage in your iCloud account so you can you know turn this off and your contacts calendars reminders safari you can control what are the application that that is synced to your icloud so you can control all the things from here so here you go and if you really want to manage your storage so click on manage storage and you can see what is the condition right now you can see that there is a backup i mean uh, your phone backup is already synced with the icloud account and also you can see whatsapp messenger and everything what is synced is already been backed up to your icloud now if you started getting this annoyed uh, notification which asked you to buy icloud storage because you're running out of storage you can pay 70 five rupees per month and go for the paid option but i would rather suggest you because mostly people run out of storage because they generally don't turn off the photo syncing and video syncing because of that they uh, run out of storage so if you have google photos and google drive start using google photos and google drive because with google photos and google drive you get 15 gigabytes of storage which is free with each and every gmail account so that's it for today's video guys i just wanted to show you how you can manage your icloud storage and get rid of that annoying notification which says you're running out of storage wherein actually your phone storage is there but it's just that you are running out of your icloud storage i hope this video was kind of helpful if it was give this video again a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel and you guys have a good day Bye bye